was coming here a mistake. I couldn't shake that thought out of my head that first morning when we wake up. Deer flies, black flies, mosquitoes were everywhere. We drove 1300 kilometers to come here, a huge area, and I was already thinking of packing back. <laughs> I came here for one thing specifically, fishing. I was here six months ago in winter for hunting and I wanted to see that place in summer, teeming with life. And yes, teeming it was. Every time I'm away from home, deep, deep in the wild, I'm always submerged with all sorts of metaphysical, philosophical questions, you know about the origin of life, earth, nature, all, all these things crashes waves after waves in my mind. I don't have answers to all my questions, but there's one sure thing that I know and that I experience every time I'm here, is nature is not your friend, nor your enemy, don't get me wrong. Nature is just neutral and you feel it. Us, as human, the best thing we can is understanding, understand its cycles, understand the rules, the law of the land, and navigate through it. Dance with that chaos. You have to be comfortable with uncertainties, but you have to trust your instinct. Because here, everything you do matters. Everything you do should matter. Dancing with chaos. I love that idea. But why I'm here, I'm here for fishing. We've all heard stories about the great fishing in the north. Pristine lake, pristine river, full of fishes. We spent one week here in the wilderness exploring here and here. We actually drove up all the way up to Radisson when we came back to camp. Fishing was really good, really, really, really good. All the walleyes we had, lots of action, large fish, small fish, lots of walleyes, lots of pikes. It was, um, you know, it, it's, I'm used to fishing south of the province in Quebec and I haven't seen bodies of water that had so many fish, never. After a good fishing day, it's time to set up fire, clean the fishes, and eat. And being out in the wild, I never lose a good opportunity to practice my off-hand shooting. Bringing still at 50 yards out in the sunset is always pleasant. Our camping ground was an abandoned airport. It was quite a sight. We didn't have water close by, but at least we had a quite a unique campsite.
I want you here to pay close attention to the color of the fish. See how that meat is um, pearly white and clean, no blood. And it's not the fish here, it's just by design. You know, when I catch a fish, there is the first thing always that I will always do. And this is no matter what the fish is, I will bleed it. And bleeding a fish first make your fish last longer, you know, when you're keeping in the fridge. And it also tastes better, much better. This is something that I do with all the fish that I'm catching. Watch through the window Hoping to see the dawn Distant the red glow Lights on the floor It was easier to leave With a handful of guarantees But without certainty I'll drift right back to sleep It's so heavy in the morning Now I'm the only one Soaking up the silver lining Bathing in the quiet Before my paradise is hit by the storm to come It's so heavy in the morning Now that the moment's come Thought there was a silver lining, but I'm out of time. I watched the paradise is hit by the storm. Something's gone bad here. See how the clouds could fly, cast in the shadow, height in the sky. It was easier to see. We're in harmony But this uncertainty Is weighing on me It's so heavy in the mind Now I'm the only one Soaking up the silver lining Bathing in the quiet Before my paradise is hit by the storm to come It's so heavy in the There was a silver lining, but I'm out of time. I watch this paradise is hit by the storm. Wishing for a sunrise. AUHJ is probably my favorite region in Quebec to visit. I've been here in January, that was in June, and I'm going back in September actually for my moose hunt. Beautiful land, open skies, full of life. We saw so many animals, plenty of fish. It's a place that I would like to visit over and over and over again. I'll be back here, I'll be back. It's so heavy in the morning, heavy in the morning.